Welcome back to Chem with Go. Today we're going to take a look at alpha decay and uh, for uh, nuclear reactions. Now alpha, the symbol is like this. It's the first letter of the Greek alphabet, actually a small case alpha. Um, it happens to be the weakest form of nuclear radiation. And alpha decay actually produces a particle, and that particle is a helium nucleus. Now, technically, there is a two-positive charge right here, but uh, let's not worry about that at the moment. Now, these nuclear decay equations are actually very easy. It's just an addition and subtraction sort of problem. Let's take a look at an isotope of uranium. Let's take a look at 238. Now, let's say this was to undergo alpha decay. And when it undergoes alpha decay, it forms a helium nucleus. So one of the products is HE, like this. Now we have to just figure out what this remaining isotope would be, what this remaining atom would be. Well, since this is 238, and um, it follows the law of conservation of matter, if four of these uh, uh, nuclear particles end up over here where helium is, then that means the remaining mass number should be 234. So 234 plus 4 gives me 238. Now, since this is a 92 over here, what happens is I subtract the two protons from the nucleus. The remaining atomic number should be 90. And if you look at your periodic table, that element happens to be thorium. And it's just as simple as that. It's just an addition and subtraction problem. Again, it follows the law of conservation of matter, seeing that matter can neither be created nor destroyed. Understand that if I add the mass numbers together, I get the original mass number. If I add the atomic numbers together, I get the original atomic number. And that's it. We'll take a look at the next lecture.